Welcome to another patho video. Let's talk about the pathogenesis and complications of E. coli 015787H7. Enterohemorrhagic E. coli 015787H7 is a virulent bacteria capable of infecting the enterocytes of the distal ileum and colon. An infection can bring about bloody diarrhea and also enter the circulation to affect other organ systems. How does O157H7 infect enterocytes? It begins when the bacteria uses its fimbriae to attach to the surface of the enterocyte. This is called fimbrial attachment. The next step is translocation of bacterial TIR. TIR stands for translocated intimin receptor. The bacteria expresses TIR and translocates it to the enterocyte membrane. The next step is called TIR intimin binding. The ligand intimin expressed on the surface of the bacteria binds to TIR located on the enterocyte. This binding allows the bacteria to be more firmly attached. At this point, shigatoxin is released by the bacteria. On the surface of the enterocyte, shigatoxin binds to its receptor called GB3 or GB4. The toxin is then internalized. Inside the cell, it acts to stop protein synthesis. This leads to cell damage and death, which can lead to bloody diarrhea. The toxin can then gain entrance into circulation and travel to organs throughout the body. The toxin may damage red blood cells, platelets, kidneys, and brain and may even lead to death. Let's review now the steps in the pathogenesis of E. coli 015787H7. Step 1. Attachment of bacterial fimbriae to enterocyte. Step 2. Bacterial TIR is translocated to enterocyte. Step 3. Binding of TIR to intimin. Step 4. Release of shigatoxins. Step 5. Binding of shigatoxin to GB3, GB4 receptors. Step 6. Shigatoxins enter the enterocytes and stop protein synthesis. Step 7, enterocyte damage and possibly death. Step 8, shigatoxins enter circulation. And finally, step 9, damage to RBCs, platelets, kidney, and brain and possible death. Let's summarize the damage that 015787 can do. We mentioned damage to enterocytes and bloody diarrhea. The most significant damage, however, is often to the microvasculature of the kidney, leading to hemolytic uremic syndrome, or HUS. Hemolytic refers to the destruction of red blood cells. Shigatoxin can also activate platelets and bring about thrombocytopenia and activation of the clotting system, or cascade, to cause disseminated intravascular coagulation, or DIC. Platelets being activated makes them stick together to form platelet thrombi that get stuck in the renal microvasculature and cut off blood supply to the kidney, bringing about acute renal failure. An E. coli 0157H7 infection in HUS is the most common cause for acute renal failure in children and has a mortality rate of 3 to 5 percent. Many that survive end up having permanent kidney damage. Microthrombi in the brain can also cut off blood supply and bring about neurological manifestations like strokes, seizures, coma, and hemiparesis where the patient has muscle weakness on the left or right side of the body. This concludes the video on pathogenesis and complications of E. coli 015787. Thanks for watching.